Got him into the right protection scheme so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Looking for someone to throw to. And this is going to be incomplete. And this seemingly endless drive continues. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make it third down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown. Jacksonville, their dangerous wide receiver with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. And this one through the uprights and good. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told, and it culminates in a Jags touchdown. Here's the Jaguar kick team now as they run up and send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've hit halftime just to field. Yeah, that's perfect. Two. Davis, deep. Uh, hey, I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, and sorry about that. Didn't know Larry got cut off early. We are back and ready for the third quarter. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. Illegal block in the back. Return team. Automatic first down. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell. And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. It'll go in the books as a sack and a loss of a yard. But more importantly, it leads to fourth down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And the Titans defense, they get ready. They take the field again. And in a tight ball game like this, 
the defense looking for a stop. You kind of, if whether you're the offense or the defense, you don't want to be the one to screw this thing up. No, not at all. And right now, you've got to figure that the offense is thinking to themselves, if you just get us the ball, we'll, be, we'll make things happen for you. Just help us out a little bit. And that's what the defense has to have in mind as they trot out here for this series. Yeah, right now, the offense on the sideline. Can the defense do it? So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. They'll give it to him right up the gun. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Out of the gun now on third down. The throw left side complete to Treadwell. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And some space here. Jaguars. A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. Here's the Jaguar kick team now as they run up and send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. Oh, look at the juke. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Titans offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before and realize it hasn't worked <laughs> okay, so well. else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players. And maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now a handoff here to his running back. Cuts back right. And, he'll, and now the rookie's free. Touchdown, Titans. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Titans are going to retake the lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, Every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, 
they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. They control the clock, they control the ball, and that way you often control the game. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Second down, nine yards to go. Back now in Jacksonville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Got you now, Marty, Marty. Let's quit. Let's quit. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's incomplete. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Single, single. Hurry up, here we go. Boom, ah! Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Laquan Treadwell, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's going to be out of bounds at the 39. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he's got some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Second down now after the incompletion. Four down, four down. Let's go. They'll set up to throw. Escaping the pressure right. 
And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he's brought down. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. They come out here in the eye. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push him back more. They're going to look to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 34 yards. Trying to defend a drag route is really tough because you don't want to jump a route the shorter or underneath as the drag route is too quickly because oftentimes they want to run that route and then hit over the top of you for bigger yardage. So if you can, if you can chip off the timing of the receiver off the line of scrimmage so he can't actually get into the route, that's the best way to defend it. But there was no possibility of that on that play. End result, receiver won in a big way. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Second and goal from the one. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Titans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That time, a nine-play drive, and the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync. Because early in a game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets. And you might not block them quite the way you want to. But as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together. And that's what we're seeing right now. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Quite the uptick here from last week as the numbers show. I guess if you're a coordinator, with, with how much you base your offense around a guy like this, do you say this week we're going to get him involved early? We have to. No doubt about it. You know, a lot of guys script their plays to start out. I think in their script, <laughs> the first Just five plays, his name on there. four of them were right to him. Get him the football. Get him involved early. That'll help the overall offense. Over the middle, he's got Treadwell. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Second down now after the pass completion. And quickly, they get to the line. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Third down and three. Let's go! Green three. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And they're going to speed things up here. He's back to throw. And incomplete. So second and ten here. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. there as it's intercepted. A great lead and it's picked off. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field and it's looking like they're going to go up just short as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. They have the three-point lead. Defense did their job. Now, late game. Although it looks good, you know the coaches, they have. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll be taken down. And now the Jags going to signal for another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And they'll go on the ground. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So the offense has it first and 10. job to break the one tackle but not much daylight after that as he's brought down they're going to hurry back to the line now that one looks like he'll throw here flushed out right and incomplete there a nice hit jars the ball free and brings up third down and he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. Now they need to get to the 29 Number. if they want to pick Number. up a first here on third down. And they'll run it here. A beautiful fake. And he gets it down to the 32. 